Alright. <clears throat> What's up, folks? Um, I just wanted to shoot this. I had quite a few questions on that load yesterday. Um, and first off, I want to tell y'all thank y'all for watching it. And let y'all know that I was going to answer the comments this way because it'd be easier just to shoot a video and answer them in this video. Uh, weight, switch button them. We haul uh, about, on average, we try to, we can haul legally as long as they don't get on the interstate 90,000 pounds, so 30 ton payload. Um, and with this kind of wood right here, I can get about 25 tons I mean not 30,000 pounds not 30 tons truck and trailer all that weighs because all these trucks weigh different but we can haul 90,000 pounds Without switch button, and if I was to load this wood, I'd get about 81 on it. With switch button, my average is about 86 in this wood. So we're just getting an extra 5,000 pounds per load. But you figure every five loads, that extra 5,000 pounds is an extra load, um, or an extra 25 tons. So. It's worth it to take a little bit of time to do it, especially when it's as wet as it is. Because we can't get them in so big of a hurry anyway. So it works out. But that was one question. The other question was, is it is, it is kind of a pain to do it like this. But it is not as bad as you think once you've done it a few times any kind of anything you load can be a pain but as long as <clears throat> I clean the vines and stuff out of it it's really not that bad um, other question I had was why don't we just cut it up and we can just cut it up but even cutting it up you're not getting the same amount well i can get about if i had to guess i could probably get 83 84 on there but whenever you're in wood like this if you switch butt it and do it right you can get more weight on it than cutting it up hence the reason i switch button it it's all about weight which anybody in the forestry industry does know that because we get paid by the time um So you want to put as much on the truck as you can legally. Sometimes it, it's illegal. Sometimes it get too much put on there. But it is what it is. I mean, you can't unless you had a set of scales out here. You can't always make sure that you got the proper amount on there which a set of scales would be worth the money not for way tickets but to make sure you had the right amount on every truck that left and make sure you maximize the payload every truck that left um, and there's some places that can't hold by 84 still and then there's some places that up north, I mean, they haul 100,000 pounds and stuff like that, which around here, these trucks and they, these trucks couldn't hold 100,000 pounds for long. These boys around here, they complain about hauling 90,000 pounds, but the way the people we cut for has got it set up, they've got to haul, I think it's 86,000 pounds at least to get paid an extra 20 cent a mile or something like that but 
So well, by me maximizing our payload, it helps us out and helps the trucks out, which is pretty cool, but it can be aggravating because then the, your trucks would be wanting you to put wood, more wood on there, and it just... Sometimes it don't matter what you do out here. Dealing with trucks can get aggravating, especially some of these guys that have bought trucks. Um, that have run over the road in the past. They bought a log truck because it is. It ain't. It, it's not necessarily. The hardest work, I mean, you ain't got to drive a whole lot. They pay pretty good, and all you got to do is throw the straps and take the straps off. But Some of these guys don't need to be in a truck or in the woods. Now, we've got this guy right here. He's our main truck, and he's good. Uh, and there's quite a few of them out there that's real good but you're always depending on them because it don't matter how much wood I stack up up here if I can't get it to the mill it ain't doing me a bit of good But that's the nature of the beast. Like a boy told me one time, he said, everything out here is a monster. Or a beast. You just got to, something's got to feed it if you want. If it's going to do anything. And... The forestry industry is the most ever-changing industry. I mean, it's day-to-day -day changes. Not just Mother Nature, but you got meals you're dealing with that one day they want wood, the next day they don't want wood. They'll take wood today, and then they'll call halfway through the day and tell you that's all they want. And Cranes get shut down because of high winds and rough weather. And there's one thing for sure. There's nothing ever definite in this stuff except for if you run it, it's going to cost money. So you used to, the quotas were where you had to haul, you agreed to haul so much wood, and that's what you had to haul, that was your contract pretty much. Now quotas are, you can't haul no more than this amount of wood. Uh, everything changes all the time and this stuff and you got to love it to do it and it ain't something my advice is for most people if you got enough money to get in this you might as well just find something else Because once it gets in your blood, and genuinely in your blood, it's over then. I run track hose, dozers. I help people grade sometimes. I mean, I do a lot of different stuff, but I don't none of it satisfy you like a damn day in the woods dealing with trees. Ain't nothing like it. Yeah. 
Ain't nothing like it at all. Stuff out right here is an obsession, it's a passion, it's a way of life. Whether you're cutting pine, hardwood, any, any any kind of wood. I learned this from talking to Nutsy and Nuts319 and uh, Skitter Kev and Logger Wade and Cotton Top. We all deal with the same issues for the most part. That's one thing you don't see up there toward Logger Wade and them much. There's a whole bunch of vines. Which I don't guess is as thick up that way. That might be part of the reason there's not quite as many. But Boy, we're getting patches of pine like this right here and the vines are just crazy. This ain't the worst vines I've ever had, but... The worst ones are the ones that um, are like the, I don't know what kind of, they're, but they're strong enough to keep together, but they'll break apart before you can pull them out, does that make sense? Those get aggravating on a loader man, on a sawhead man, any of us. So these vines right here, which is, these vines aren't, there's not that many of them, they're just so long in this stuff. It goes from tree to tree.
That load I loaded yesterday on that video was 87,000 pounds, which is about on the money. I like keeping them, trying to keep them right around 88, but 87 is good enough in this stuff. I had all I could put on him. Okay. This wireless mic has made a world of difference. Makes shooting videos so much easier and actually being able to talk to y'all and y'all actually understand me and hear what I'm saying. I got to give me some editing software so I can voice over. That'd be pretty cool on some of this stuff. Being able to tell you all my thoughts as I'm doing it, as far as watching it too. So I might see something that I don't see while I'm doing this, but I can see whenever y'all are watching it pretty much. The way y'all see it. I try to answer all y'all's questions and and I did get one question on an older video on hardwood loggers the other day and yes that is Matthew Johnson's crew I went out there and visited him one day Me and him are pretty good buddies. I hadn't talked to him in a while. I need to call him and check on him since all this rain. Make sure he's been doing all right. Staying busy. He's about to turn into a swamp logger now. Any of y'all that don't... He's on Instagram. He don't have a YouTube channel, but he's on Instagram. At Matthew Johnson Logging. He gets in some predicaments doing that swamp logging and that big hardwood, and he's got a track cutter. Any of y'all that want to see some pretty cool videos from... And he's in this part of the country, too. I mean, he's in North Carolina, mostly a little bit east of here, but he's right around where we are. They cut mostly big hardwood. 99% of the time what he's usually cutting That's a wrap.